Hey, hello everyone. So this video, I'm going to show you how to construct a class diagram for online food ordering system. And I'm going to do this entire task in Star UML. So let's get started. First, just go to Star UML and go to Model and go to Add Diagram. Just click Class Diagram. Uh, if you aren't having the class diagram shapes by default, if you just do this, you will be getting the necessary shapes to construct our class diagram. So in this uh, food ordering system, we'll be having like four to six classes, okay? So water may be the system. I, I would like you to have at least minimum of four classes. Otherwise, it's just going to look uh, so blank, okay, the diagram. So it's good to have more number of classes. So water may be the system. Uh, always we will start by the customer, okay? So let's just select this class uh, option and just press it over here. And let's just name it as customer. Okay, that's fine. And uh, so first the customer is going to like log in, okay? And it's going to like enter many details of the customer. So for, in case of an online food ordering system, we will have the email, phone number, address, payment details, the password, you can add password, that's it. So I guess these are like the important things, mainly address, okay, that's fine. So these are going to be the attributes, okay? Attributes and these attributes will have the data type. Okay, so just double click it and you will have this icon add it food so just click it first name okay start with name and it's going to be of type string so next is a uh, phone number phone number is going to be of the type integer and next is email id it's of the type string next address is also of the type string these are like the most important uh, attributes of a customer if you want you can also put age something like that password you can just put uh, i think these are like more than enough okay and next is going we are going to add, add the operations what are the operations the customer is going to perform coming into our online uh, food ordering system so there will be options like adding a particular food item okay to the cart in case of like a e-commerce or shopping site you will be having a add to cart so here we will like name to add to our menu okay so add item, add food item, uh, update it, edit it, and uh, make payments, log in, log out. So cancel order. So in case like the order has been like too delayed for the customer to receive, the customer can even cancel the order. So these are like the basic uh, functions or the operations that the customer is going to perform. So it's good to have like four to five uh, operations, okay? Attributes as well as operations. So just double click it again, and you'll be having this settings like a kind of icon. So just click it and you'll be getting an add operation so first thing basic login okay click add and here we'll be having add food item and uh, i will just put modify okay that includes editing updating all stuff modify food item uh, place an order okay place order uh, make payment you can also add search food items like the search restaurant can also do all those stuff i just want to like minimize the number of operations so next one is going to be like uh, cancel the order make payment and like there is also another way the customer can select the mode of payment like there are two options okay basically like the customer can order through the credit card okay directly like uh, using an app direct payment Another is cash on delivery, okay? So customer can pay in form of cash by getting the food. So you can also select the mode of payment method also and log out at the end, okay? So this is fine. This is really good for our customer class. As the next class is going to be the order itself, like, okay? It's going to be order. So this will also have some attributes as well as some actions. The attributes are going to be really simple. So it's going to be like the time and the date when that particular uh, food item order has been received and uh, the payment okay whether the order has been prepaid or uh, paid after the home delivery and the id okay id of the particular order because like each order is going to have a unique id and you can also add like restaurant name the uh, total price okay total cost okay so these are going to be like the attributes and first we'll just finish the attributes okay otherwise i'll forget it so our order is going to be like you will have an order id okay that's going to be of a type uh, integer and next one is going to be uh, order payment okay so it's going to be uh, 
yeah boolean okay because it's going to be yes or no whether the order has been play uh, already uh, paid by using an online app or it's going to be like a cash on delivery so it's boolean just going to have yes or no or true or false and it's going to be the order cost okay order cost and this is going to be a float okay because it can be even in like decimal places okay so let it is better to have it float you can also have it is not it's not going to be an issue that's fine and you will be also having the date slash date time of order okay so that's go let it have it as a date okay date attribute so these are like the basic uh, attributes and data types of order and in case of like operations you can have like uh, order status okay whether the order has been received by the particular restaurant whether the order has been prepared or whether as per order has been completed that is uh, dispatched to the customer and the payment has been made i think like this is enough only order status because we are having order order status so once a uh, particular order has been delivered to the customer the order is going to be get closed so that's it order status will cover up all the the entire life cycle of a particular order so this is really good for order class and our next class is going to be restaurant class okay so restaurant class is basically basically will have a id name address mobile number etc and in case of like operations uh, it will be having like basically all the stuff creating order taking in order delivering delivering to that particular delivery guy so this is going to be take uh, we're going to have this in a restaurant class so let's go to class and click it over here we will be having our uh, restaurant okay it's going to right i guess okay so restaurant class and first attribute just double click it so it's going to have an id is of of type integer and name of a type string phone number the type integer and also have the email id website link that stuff etc address i'm just referring to the main one okay address of a type string and uh, the food menu okay food items organizes a food menu is also going to be of the type string so these are like the details present in like if you go to any app and if you just go for the particular restaurant all these particular details will be coming so that's what we are just replicating here just like just imagine yourself you are ordering a particular food through an app what are the details you will be uh, having or you need to enter so just imagine that kind of stuff and just do a class diagram so it will be like you will be able to quickly grasp all the necessary attributes and the operations uh, instead of like over thinking it will be like really simple if you just personify as if you are doing that particular task so after restaurant just go to uh, operation so operation as you can guess it's really simple uh, receive order okay just just go in order receive order uh, uh, prepare food okay prepare the necessary food dispatch order dispatch can be like they can have their own delivery persons and they can just give it to home or they can just wait for any third party delivery persons to come and deliver so it's just going to be dispatch dispatch uh, food or order dispatch order will be good dispatch order and update menu so this is also like really important task update uh, menu so this is like completely dependent in some apps the restaurant itself will have direct control over their uh, food items they can just go and edit it but in some cases like they they can be like a intermediate person that app agent who just basically controls all the product so i guess we can just go with the update menu so update menu is basically like in case of any new food item they are having any specials or in case like a particular food item is out of uh, it's over it's getting done so they can just update their menu depending on the availability of their food so i think like this is really good this is more than enough i guess uh, we have received order prepare food this is enough like i guess so this is good for restaurant class and our next class is going to be payment okay so just go here and payment so this is we are considering online payment okay so we'll be it's just really simple i'll just uh, do it and explain it to you so first you will have the customer name okay customer name that's going to be of a type string and uh, customer id you can customer id okay i'm just ignoring it card card number as going to be type integer and card type credit or debit card card type 
that's what we have to type string and and in case of operations if you just go and type i think the only operation is payment so you can just put make payment that's enough i guess that's fine and you can if you want you can also add that expiry date okay uh print that particular range you can also add that that's also going to be an attribute of date type so this is fine and our final thing is going to be run with customer order payment restaurant and uh, our final thing is going to be like like the uh, menu okay menu itself so whatever maybe like in even in the app it will have a menu like if you just search a food item you will be getting a list of details about that particular food item so it's going to be let's just consider a single food item okay so it's going to be a food item name okay you start with so you may have type string and next one is the price okay price of uh that food item in different restaurant okay so it's going to be of type float and next one is going to be the available restaurants okay because depending upon the cuisine it's going to be like uh cuisine some will have chinese indian and like that there's north indian south indian also so so there's also like availability uh every kind of food won't be available in all restaurants so it's going to be specific one so let us also add availability okay availability so this is going to be after boolean okay because it's just true or false sorry sir no and can let's also type restaurant list okay that's availability so just also put restaurant list so restaurant list where the food is available string and and that's it that i don't want to extend it too much so this is fine it's not going to have any operations because if you want you can just add select like that something so this is completely fine and now let me just uh, rearrange everything okay so menu order okay and there are the restaurant and your the payment okay so let's just uh, let me just put this data association okay customer will have Okay, item to the menu. Customer is going to pay order, and this order will be accessed in turn by the restaurant. Customer will the payment, and the menu can be updated by our restaurant. Okay, so I guess that's it. So this is enough, I guess. So that's it. So we have done with five classes. That is perfect. and that's it for this video and i have also done many other class diagrams two class diagrams okay if you want you can just check it and also many other use case diagrams activity diagrams in story ml so do check other videos of my channel and mine is actually a program channel i went to listen c c++ java python blender that is 3d animation in unity so do check other videos of my channel subscribe and support me and thanks for watching